Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Fred and you're watching Cooking with Dr. Fred, the Connecticut edition. So it's fall and fall is really an amazing time of the year because that's when the bounty of all spring, summer, all of that food can be readily and easily obtained. So I thought before I showed you what I'm going to cook today, I'd like to take you into my refrigerator because I bet you a lot of you out there wonder what do I possibly keep in my refrigerator. Now, I must warn you, there's not very much. Um, I keep really strictly the basics, but there are a few goodies in there because of everything that I've been able to get at the farmer's market. Something about being in Connecticut, which is really quite nice, is that Within 30 minutes of me, even less, there is an entire road of just farm after farm after farm. And it's really quite beautiful because I get my pick of whatever they have, which is really amazing, including they have, they have pork and they have beef and they have lamb and they have chicken and they, have, they put together these most amazing sausages that I had last night. I really wish I was able to cook them for you, but I got home too late from the office last night. So I'm gonna cook you something very similar today. It's very simple, quick, easy. And the other thing is that's really important is that I make a lot of things ahead of time, as you may or may not know. I mean, I work just like you do. Um, we all work long hours. We all have responsibilities when we get home, family responsibilities, all sorts of things. And I like to be able to make my own food. So it's always best to, I don't meal prep per se, but I'll show you what I, why I had to. So let's go to the, let's go, and look at the refrigerator now, shall we? So here's the refrigerator and let's see what's in there. So let's open it up and see. Okay, so whatever's on the top. Oh, look at these. These I think are pretty amazing. Um, Parmesan crisps, I love these. I've now decided to use them. I now use them as a, um, as a crouton in salads. So that's fantastic. That sewed up there is not mine. These eggs are amazing because I got them at my friend's farm and I believe I've even showed you at some point what they look like and what the yolk looks like. They're really amazing. Let's see, I've probably eaten most of them. Oh no, look at that, there's an assortment. Look at that, there's a green one, blue one, brown one. It's amazing the colors that his, um, his farm chickens produce. Now that's American cheese, yes, but that's organic, made by Horizon American Cheese, which I love to put on burgers. This is not burgers. This is something I got, um, what's it called? Grassroots. I highly recommend them. They're all, everything's pasture-raised. This is a pork sausage, a pork sausage that is just out of the casings. So I'm gonna use it in a very simple stir fry. And then we've got this. So I'm gonna take this deliciousness out of the refrigerator. Okay, so before I turn the camera back on me, um, I would like to show you what this is. So when I was at those farmer's markets, it was amazing. Why well, don't you take this off? Just look at that. Uh-oh, it doesn't look so pretty. Okay, so now it looks prettier. Uh, all I did was sort of give it a little zhuzh, as they say. But, you know, the beauty of this, and I'll tell you what it is. Can anybody guess what it is? It's a ratatouille. And I'll tell you why. This whole bowl used to be overflowing with ratatouille. I'll tell you why in just one second. So we were talking about um, the bounty of fall and the things that you're easily accessible. And you saw my giant bowl of ratatouille. So the reason why that rat giant bowl of ratatouille was created was because when I was at the farm, the eggplants, the giant eggplants this big, were 39 cents each. So I really could not, as a proper Italian boy, I could not turn down getting eggplants for 39 cents. These are organic eggplants, but I guess they wanted to get rid of them. So I got a bushel of them practically. I got so many of them, I didn't know what to do with them. And then there was a giant bag, it must have been you know, this, this big, of tomatoes for $5 off the vine tomatoes. So I couldn't resist. So I threw in a few extra zucchini, a few um, extra onions, and I decided I'd make a bunch of ratatouille. And I was going to, like my mom did, was put them in jars and put them away for the, for the winter and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it was just so good. Every day I've been making a different meal with them. And the beauty of having so much of it is a, if you're a family, you've got it. It's a great snack. I've used it with those eggs and I made a little omelet with it in the morning, just throw it in there. I throw it into stir fries. What else have I used it with? I had it like smothered over pork chops the other night. I had it with, um, with sausage last night. And today I'm having it with, and that was sausage with the casing that I chopped up. This sausage that's gonna be ground sausage and we're gonna do that. It's gonna be a very simple, easy meal because the beauty of it is the ratatouille is already made, so it just needs to be heated. And the meat, the pork, sausage, only has to be cooked. 
So because it's pork sausage, what I'm, what I'm gonna do, usually I put everything in there and let it just sort of congeal up and it gets really nice and thick and delicious. But what I'm gonna do today, because it's pork sausage, is I'm gonna cook the pork first, then we're gonna add the ratatouille, and then I'm gonna cover it, let it get really nice and juicy. Take the cover off because the ratatouille, the, the, um, the eggplant, some of the mucilaginous part of the eggplant will make it thicker, will thicken the sauce. And then I'm gonna pour Parmesan on it to give it a nice cheesy garlicky, because there's garlic in there as well, a nice cheesy garlicky taste. And it's gonna be absolutely out of this world. I can't wait to show you what it looks like or how to do it. So let's get started.